All right, what up, y'all? So we're going to my friend's farm because she ran out of water, and that's not good. So we need to check out her system and see what's wrong with it to see if we can help her out. So let's get going here and see just what she needs to get fixed back up. All right, so it's not looking good. Uh, this tank's waterlogged. I pressed on the top, and yeah, water shot out. So that's bad. The contactor is burned up. It's been going on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Beep, pew, beep, pew, beep, pew, beep, pew. On, off, and yeah, it's burned up. There's no pressure relief valve. We need one of those. Might need a new T. Let's go hit the store, y'all, and see what we can get to fix this thing. Let's see. This is what's already there. 20 gallons. 154. 289. Said just copy what's there, I guess. We're good enough for years, so we're going with this bad boy. Alright guys, so we're back from the store. We got a 3050 pressure switch with the low pressure cutout safety lever right there. This system doesn't have much safety built into it, so we're about to remedy that. Uh Pressure relief valve, 75 PSI, that's going there. 100 PSI gauge going there. Uh, random plugs and all kinds of stuff. Uh, the tank, this awesome insulation because uh, with the sticky on it because she's got this little shed and it's insulated and it's, you know, got a heat lamp, but it's not really, you know, I mean, who doesn't want to, you might as well insulate it as best as possible, you know what I mean? So we got these little cool little ends and stuff clamps pvc cement all that fun stuff all right guys time to rip this bad boy out and get the new one in Alright, so the tank's bad. It's bad. It's got a ton of water up there. It's bad. I'm not reusing any of this stuff. It's not worth the time or effort. I mean, it's, it's, it's nasty. So we got new. I'm going to get this stuff all on here. Teflon tape.
All right, so she's done. I'd rather have junction boxes and, you know, conduit and all that and individual conductors like it's supposed to be, but it was already like this, so, uh, you know, it's technically not up to code, but um, it's not dangerous by any means. So the two hots come in, they connect to each lead of the um, pump. I got all my insulation. I got this bad boy all wrapped up. Got a new gauge. Got a drain here got my plug on the end i got a, um the pressure relief valve now this is kind of overkill but you know how i like to do stuff so i got the pressure uh release valve here if it gets up to 75 psi it's gonna blow out here go right out the side um then i have a drain and straight down you know safety precaution that wasn't there before um these weren't there before so you know we got it nice and good there's no ground it's just two wire no ground on that don't really like that but that's how it is i got the tank up to 28 psi so it's 30 50 so 29 i'm gonna let a little bit out before i charge it with water um so this is 30 50 you're supposed to set it 2 psi the the air charge 2 psi less than the cut in pressure so 30 50 so you go 28 psi if it's a 4060 you go 38 psi yeah you get the idea so yeah i'm, I'm pretty happy with that honestly i just wanted to show y'all i'm gonna wrap all of this uh she's got a little heat lamp in here like that and it's all insulated in here but i got the insulation i'm gonna wrap it up uh this doesn't matter it might get a cold breeze in you know i don't know but i, I am concerned about this and this so i'm just gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna fire this bad boy up all right, guys. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna test this bad boy now. I'm gonna set y'all up, and we're gonna go open the hose. You should see it come on about 30 psi and shut off about 50. There it goes. Off. Yeah, she's done. Heck yeah, time to button this thing up. This thing is done. She is done. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. And we're going to go over to the spigot and see how much pressure we got, y'all. All right, y'all ready for this? Yes. Yes. It is working awesome. Awesome. So now her water's fixed. She should be happy. Everything's good, y'all. Um, I insulated the heck out of that thing, so hopefully it'll help in the wintertime. You know, it'll be nice and insulated. If y'all enjoyed the video and y'all want to see more farming videos in the future, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell so that y'all get notified when I post new farming videos in the future. And make sure to drop me a huge thumbs up down below. And don't forget to comment and let me know what you thought about the vid. For now, y'all, I'm out. Later.